Hi, I'm Larry Johnson. I am a professor at Texas A&M University, and today we're going to talk about the endocrine system. Specifically, we'll talk about the functions of the endocrine system, the pituitary features and functions. Now, the uh, objective of today's presentation is to appreciate the diversity of functions of the endocrine system and to recognize the different organs, the unique features of organs, and cells that make up the endocrine system. And here you can see a lot of that system over here. Here's the pituitary, hypothalamus is up in this region, uh, and there's a reciprocal relationship between the pituitary and various organs uh, of the body of the endocrine system. The endocrine system is one by which hormones are produced by uh, a cell, uh, and it goes into the bloodstream, and it uh, interacts with uh, uh, cells with receptors that match that hormone uh, in some target distant place. Now, uh, the endocrine system is a collection of glands, and we can see the various glands uh, throughout here, that produce hormones that regulate metabolism, growth, development, uh, tissue uh, function, sexual function, reproduction, sleep mode, mood, uh, and uh, among other things as well. The endocrine system does get some help from other groups of, uh, of, of cells, like uh, in the kidney you have the erythropoietin that's produced to uh, make uh, red blood cells. So uh, there are other informational uh, molecules in addition to the endocrine system in terms of regulating uh, body function. So here we see a, a host of cells. Here's the pituitary, the parsistalis, the pars nervosa, uh, the, uh, the hypothalamus up here, which, uh, which sends some axons down uh, into the pars nervosa, or it has some short ones that interacts with a, a, a vasculature. First capillary network picks up these releasing factors, and the second capillary network distributes them to the parsistalis where that affects the acidophils or basophils that then in turn uh, produces hormones that affects these other ones and then these hormones produced by these other organs here to testis or the ovary uh, feed back either on the pituitary or the hypothalamus and see we can see the pituitary here the parsistalis pars uh, nervosa uh, pars tuberellus, pars intermedia. All these are different uh, parts of the endocrine uh, system. The pituitary, you have acetophils, basophils, and chromophobes are located there, and we will see those. On this particular specimen, we see the pars distalis out through here, uh, the pars nervosa, uh, infidibulum stalk, the pars tuberellus. So a DNA hypothesis is parasitalis tuberellus intermedia. Uh, and the neural hypothesis is infidibulum stalk, mediumimus, and the pars nervosa. This particular uh, patient uh, had a carcinoma uh, located in the pars, uh, pars nervosa. If we look at the parasitalis, we can see uh, basophils. Those are basophilic, uh, blue and staining. Acetophils, so they're red and staining and chromophobes, those that uh, do not like uh, uh, stain, uh, and so you can't see the cytoplasm of them because they're not stained. Over to pars nervosa, uh, we have herring bodies, which are swollen regions of the axons that are coming down from the uh, hypothalamus, and you have a host of these pituocytes in there, uh, which are support cells for all the nerves coming down. And a pars nervosa, here we can see uh, herring body here and here, uh, and as the nerves from the hypothalamus uh, send down to the pars uh, nervosa, uh, you can see uh, here they have these swollen portions of the axons would be where the, the herring bodies uh, would be. And we can see herring bodies here and here, uh, and in those herring bodies would be oxytocin and antidiuretic hormone, and they'd be affecting uh, the kidney, the mammary gland, and the uterus. Again, we can see the herring bodies in through here, these structures, kind of granular things that we can see. Uh, so this is a pars uh, nervosa, a pars intermedia that's coming through here, 
uh, and the pars distalis. This uh, is an artifactual space right here, but this is the, the cells of the pars distalis. If you look at those more closely, you can see some cells, chromophobes, that do not like stain. Uh, we can see some uh, chroma, uh, the acidophils uh, and the basophils, the blue ones and the kind of uh, red ones. You can see the uh, the <coughs> chromophobes that don't like stain. You can see acidophils, which are red, or the basophils that are blue. And these uh, basophils uh, are the ones that produce hormones that affect the ACTH, uh, TSH, FSH, uh, and LH. These hormones are produced by the basophils. The acidophils produce prolactin uh, and uh, growth hormone. We want to thank the various original sources of images, drawings, and images that we have used, uh, modified for this presentation. Thank you. So this is the end of the endocrine system, that is the functions of the endocrine system uh, and the pituitary features and functions. Thank you.